Hey guys, it's me. Um, this is kind of an impromptu video. I've been trying to organize in my head how I've wanted to do it. But I want to start off by saying I'm not sponsored by any of the products shown in this video. Um, just giving you guys the rundown of what I do to maintain the one thing I'm vain about, my hair. all the way down to my hips. Um, I cut it all off into a bob in sixth grade. And I've basically kept roughly shoulder length hair ever since. This is probably the longest my hair has been. Uh, probably since high school. It's about where it was before I chopped it off. <laughs> and um, again, my senior year, um, so it's, it's my Irish fro, that's what I call it. Um, so I just wanted to go over some of the products that I use in my hair. And like I said, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. This is just what I do routinely to try and maintain my hair, which I have severely damaged over the years. I frequently dye my hair. I started highlighting my hair when I was 16 um, because I had grays coming in at the age of 16 which doesn't surprise me because I'm told my grandmother started graying at an early age so let that be what it will and it's not a pretty gray either so I started with highlighting and then eventually I got tired of do of paying too much for in my opinion, for my hair care and started just dyeing it myself at home like my mom had always done when I was growing up. So this past summer I did some really harsh damage to my hair. Since I'm a school teacher I kind of have to stick to natural colors to be professional. I do push the envelope a little bit by... Hello Ramayas, he's at work again. Um, I do push the envelope a little bit by doing bright, saturated, or vibrant red colors, but this summer I wanted my hair to be my signature favorite color, and that's purple. The only way to deal with that, considering how much red I had put in my hair over the years, and the fact that my hair was pretty dark, was to bleach it, and perhaps I'll upload those the series of videos my husband and I put out um, when we actually did my hair at the beginning of summer. I might, I might not. What do you guys think? Do you want to see those videos? Um, we originally posted them to social media just for our friends to get a kick and a gag out of. And it was, it was an interesting time. Um, he, in order to get the copper brassiness out of my hair, Ramias went ahead and bleached my hair twice, and really all my brassiness was down in here at the ends where they're damaged and they've been recolored and recolored again and again. And instead of doing a toner the second time around like I knew better to go ahead and just do it that way, um, he went ahead and applied a second coat of bleach to most of my hair. So I was like platinum blonde on top and strawberry blonde on the bottom and that was the closest we could get it and uh, I was a pretty vibrant purple color at first and it faded to like a silvery gray color so I couldn't have that at work it didn't look good my hair was really damaged looking it didn't look professional so I did dye my hair this really nice vibrant color my only concern with it actually dye here at the moment, but I get, did get them from Sally's. Um, it's Ion's Brilliant Colors. It's an intense red color. My only concern is 
instead of doing a color in between like I should have, I thought, oh, it's a, it looked auburn enough that I didn't have to do a brown color in between or, or a darker blonde to kind of prep it for the transition to a red, and my ends have tints of what I'm fearing is pink. Um, so when I re-dye my hair here soon, and I just dyed it a couple weeks ago, I've already got some roots poking through, um, I'm going to have to get a brown color and mix it in. I know that for sure now. But um, this color did help my hair out a lot, and my hair was super frizzy, super damaged. I went ahead and just trimmed my own ends a little bit, um, and that seemed to help. But ser my fear is now, I'm gonna, in order to get my healthy hair back, I gotta cut off, you know, most of my hair, and it's like I don't want to have super short hair again. Besides, my next haircut will be code for my husband as a surprise to tell him oh, I'm pregnant. And I'm not pregnant yet. We're trying on it and been trying for four long years. So, But that's another video. Um, to recoup from the horrible mess I've put my hair through this summer, I have changed my normal routine greatly. I used to wash consistently, like at the most every other or every third day just because my hair is naturally frizzy and yes I know you're drying your hair out you're making it worse but my hair has always been dry because I have a dry scalp so I had to use a dandruff control shampoo to help with my dry scalp and dandruff shampoo is horrible on color treated hair and it just treats color in general horribly so I've really had to switch away from what I was typically doing with a dandruff shampoo and then applying some sort of sleek and shine um, moisturizing conditioner and then putting a leave-in conditioner in for a little bit and doing nothing but letting it air dry. I have gone a different route. That route involved a trip to Sally's, me doing a little research, and just trying products I had never really tried before. I usually keep to the Tresemme line, but for grins and giggles, I went ahead and got this by Garnier Fructis. It's their Color Shield Complete Defense. Seals and protects color. Um, it's supposed to restore softness to your hair, and it has Camilla oil berry and UVA and UVB filters which protecting your hair from the sunlight is going to also protect the color too and I have mixed feelings about it I've almost finished the bottle I've been using it for about a month it's okay my scalp is actually not giving me fits and giggles and laughing at me by developing dandruff in hordes it's saying it's working with me right now so I only have to do like spot treatments with a dandruff shampoo here and there maybe once every other week but I also have the conditioner that goes with that shampoo together they work okay I might have to look into something a little bit stronger but to make up for what I lack in washing my hair the shower, I do put a lot of product in my hair. I don't have it in there quite yet. I'm letting my hair dry just a wee bit more before I put it in. Um, but I always start off with some sort of detangler. Totally Twisted Curl Detangler from Herbal Essences has been my best friend goodness, since I was in college and that's been five, six years. I love how this treats my hair. I do have very thin hair. I do have hair that gets tangled extremely easily and every time I wash my hair, that's the first thing I'll put in, so I might as well. Come well, on, my hair is wet and I'm thinking about it much. And I just try to mix it in a little bit, best I can. Um, I don't worry about my ends too much because I really work on hydrating my ends. And then, like I said earlier, I love Tresemme. I put their, um, I've been using recently the uh, Keratin Smooth line. This is their flat iron smoothing spray, but 
I don't flat iron my hair and yet I get great results out of it. So that's always second and it goes on my ends. Um, these two products I got from Sally's. The, uh, the first two products I got I think from Walmart. Um, these next two I got from Sally's and this is Mystic Divine Argon, Argon and Manoy Oils. It's a I think it's for ethnic hair. I think. I could be completely wrong. But it does wonders. It is amazing. Um, but be gentle with it. If, if you decide to use this, be gentle. It is quite powerful and a little bit goes a long way. And then I picked up Ion's Miracle Leave-In Conditioner. It has coconut, and B, coconut water and B vitamins. It's a moisturizing uh, leave-in conditioner and this is the last thing I put on and <laughs> I can't get that bump out of the side of it apparently um but I've been loving on this a lot I'm probably going to keep this in my normal routine so this goes all over now let it sit. Don't brush it. Don't touch it. Just let it sit for about a minute or two. Usually, this is the time where I'll like, you know, run and get a drink, or I'll check Facebook, or I'll check my phone, or things like that just to occupy me for a minute or two. And then I brush out my hair. And of course, the best tip I can give you be gentle when you're brushing. Don't take your brush and start up here and try and slide it all the way down as many people with long hair are wont to do. You're actually going to work the opposite way. You're going to do a section at a time going back up and then you can slide it all through to get anything that had broken. Um, I was combing my hair for the longest time but now that my hair's getting longer again I've switched back to brushing it, and there's debate about which one's better for you. I really don't see a difference other than I can get a little bit more technical with the comb. Um, if I wear my hair down, I usually do a side part. So, yeah, I'll probably start with the brush and end with the comb. Or if my hair's particularly tangled and knotted up, I'll probably go with the comb. Um, so, what do you guys think? Brush, comb? Which one's better? Let me know down in the tile section below. And also, let me know what you guys have found that works. I'm willing to try other products out and see how they go. My hair is always going to be the Irish fro. It's always going to be damaged. And I need to just, you know, like I said, it's the one thing I'm vain about. So if I'm having a good hair day, literally it's a good day for me because it's the one thing I obsess about with my looks. Um, I typically don't otherwise and like I said if you guys have any suggestions for anything or you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do a follow-up video on this here when I finish the bottles of the shampoo and conditioner for in the shower um, and let you know my general thoughts. Um, so that's it guys. Have a great day. Take care.